Twitter. So, I'm trying out this, like, I'm gonna start my vlog here, and I'm trying out this food. And it's my first time trying out, like, a simulated chicken type food. This is, this is some soy chicken. Soy, soy protein base, really. If anybody is curious of the ingredients, there's the ingredients. You could, like, pause the frame or something and just kind of scan that over if you really want to. Yes. My mom just had some and she said it was really good. So I, like, I kind of, like, separated... I don't know if the lights gonna cooperate. I separated a little piece from my wrap that I'm just gonna try on its own. Okay, it does taste squishier than normal chicken, but to be fair, Chicken in chicken strips normally is quite squishy because it's like processed chicken. So it's not even like stripped like chicken half the time. It's like processed chicken. I mean, it's not strips. It's just fucking processed chicken. <laughs> like, like McDonald's chicken McNuggets. But yeah, no, that's actually really tasty. The seasoning is really good and I actually really enjoy the breading as well. But my mom said she liked it too. So anybody who wants to try that. I definitely would recommend it. It is a little bit pricey though. I think we paid like seven bucks for the bag. Was it like seven bucks? Yeah, it's about seven or eight. Seven, seven or eight dollars Canadian. So American, it'd probably be like five dollars. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know if they sell this in the States, but I'm sure if you guys like Google it or something, you can find it. Cause I know they have online grocery places and resource places. I know some people like to buy, in the States, like to buy vegan stuff off of Amazon. <laughs> so I don't know. It could be more expensive there. Maybe not, but if you have a local co-op, I'm pretty sure they'll have something like that there. Because I know you guys have co-ops there in the States too. But yeah, I got this from... What was the store called? Uh, it was like a Save on Foods in Nelson. So, if if any y'all are near yeah, Save on Foods and want to try it, that's in Save on Foods. And hashtag not sponsored, but I wish because that'd be kind of sweet to get like sponsored food. But anyhow, <laughs> I'll see you guys. Yeah. So today is Friday night, and my plans for tonight are basically just Minecraft. I'm playing Minecraft again. <laughs> it's probably literally been like four years, honestly. I barely even remember how to play Minecraft. <laughs> um, I was gonna try streaming, but I don't know if I'll get to that because I'm learning how to set up and stuff. Uh. I kind of wanted to vent about something. I get this, like, exponential amount of people basically stating that <laughs> because I have no eyebrows, that means I don't know how to do eyebrows. Okay, well, yeah, no, I can understand how, like, one would come to that conclusion because, I mean, like, a lot of the time, like, people who have derp eyebrows or, like, not really eyebrows there at all is because failure to maintain said possible previous eyebrows. However, yeah, if it isn't blatantly obvious, I do know how to do eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, I did eyebrows for my whole life because after I was like 10 years old and then somebody pointed out my unibrow i i tended to my eyebrows from 10 years old to probably 16 where some people noticed i then graduated to a very very thin brow 
because I was more into the look of the tapered brow, the sharpie brow, that many people seem to have a problem with. However, the sharpie brow is a level of aesthetic that alternative subculture does appreciate. I mean, like, the sharpie brow was actually a brow that was used during the Victorian era as well, too. Therefore, creating such to be part of gothic subculture. At least, uh, I, thi I think so. Anybody that wants to disagree can, and, like, explain why or whatever. Like, I'm, I'm definitely open to listening. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because I have no eyebrows, it does not mean that I failed to have maintained my previous eyebrows. Like, I've w I went over this in my eyebrow video that I made, not the troll one, but the actual video explaining as to why I have no eyebrows. I maintained my eyebrows for, like, five plus years of my growing up phase, and I had concluded they were useless for me as an artist because they're in the way of looks. And yeah, you can use the drag method for concealing your eyebrows. However, if you conceal your eyebrows every fucking day, that is just as annoying <laughs> as, like, having to maintain normal eyebrows and tweeze them every single day because you'd have to do both at the same time. Oh, is that not a handful? Yeah, I, w I could imagine tapering your normal eyebrows and then hiding them every single day. Yeah, no, it's a lot more productive just to remove them. Like, but yeah, no, that doesn't mean that I can't do eyebrows or else you wouldn't, you wouldn't fucking see me with eyebrows. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, what is logic? <laughs> but there's logic. There you go. Have logic. There's a Christmas present. Early Christmas present. You're welcome. <laughs> but that was actually too... I, I got a little bit frustrated because I, like, over the past week or so, I've had, like, a buttload of messages saying the same thing, and then I got a comment on, on an Instagram photo, and just kind of like, well, I'm just going to address this here in my vlog. And probably not anticipate that said people watching this anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say that here, for the sake of saying that here. But I guess, like, I mean, I guess by saying this here, it also lets all of you guys know that too as well, who are regular active people up on my stuff, which I very much love and appreciate all the time. Like, I, I, I enjoy talking to you guys and stuff. And so, like, I know how you guys like to stand up for me and whatnot, so, <laughs> I mean, like, I guess this does have a purpose then. <laughs> But I am just about to uh, rip a bomb toke and get my Minecraft on. Yeah, don't mind my unkept appearance. I just, I, I didn't plan on leaving my house today. So I was like, eh, pff, what is, what is face war paint? Because I don't need to go to war. <laughs> face the real world. <laughs> Anywho, I will see you guys later. So I'm sitting in the park now. Ugh, I'm so tired. I probably like I don't know, I sat to, I went to bed at 4 a.m. and then woke up at like 7, so I didn't get too much sleep. I was actually supposed to go to a, an appointment at like 12.45 and I ended up missing it because my mom and my brother I had to wait till 11 to get agent in a But, oh, there's like pigeons flying over my head. And some birdies. Over there. Some birdies. And then, like, over here. I don't know if you can see that. This long thing. And then, like, this. Over here somewhere. I don't know if I'm actually pointing at it. But, I think they're putting in a suspension bridge or something here. 
but that'll be kind of cool. But I'm obsessed with this camera bag that I found in the thrift store. It looks kind of decrepit, but it, it's like it's vintage. But it's it's not branded, so I don't even know like who the hell constructed this thing. But it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I, I don't know if I should like resell this or like so someone else can appreciate it because I'm not a brown person. This is not my kind of color tones when I like to wear things. But I'm gonna see if my brother wants this and then if he doesn't and yeah. I don't know if this is my brother's style too, so I think my brother might be more into like kind of modern styles instead of like vintage kind of I don't know, I'll ask him and see what's up, but, uh, I have, I was supposed to film a video today, but I'm not really feeling up to talking about the topic right now, I'm not, if you, if you notice this, I'm not really super enthused talking, because I'm just so tired, <laughs> not really I'm more enthused, but, well, there's those people who watch me often, so those people who don't, you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. But you may, into the future, if you watch further. And if you don't, you suck. <laughs> Pigeons in the he's out. I don't know, they sound so cute. I've got these little guys over here. There's like a white one. Right, or see the little white guy. He's so cute. Eh, eh, hello. the little green shades on your neck, yo. Oh, don't hide behind the bush now. Oh, he's hiding behind the bush. Let's look at these ones. Yeah. We're doing some bird creeping, guys. <laughs> you had no say in this. It happened. It just happened. That's how things happen. It was non-consensual. I'm sorry. Surprise. <laughs> don't kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, I think you scared these guys a little bit. Hi. They're so tame. Oh, there's Nick guy. I think they're eating the grass seed. I think that's what that is. The grass seed. Fertilizer. They like the taste of the fertilizer. Do they do the fertilizers fertilize your body? <laughs> fertilize Is that a dog underneath the guy? I think that's a dog underneath the guy. For a second there, I thought he pooped out a kid or something. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, hey. Hi, hi. I just love looking at birds because their feathers are like perfectly flattened down, kind of like velour when it's going the correct direction. And they look so soft. Oh, that one over there has his neck puffed out. What? <laughs> He's all puffed out. Oh my gosh. Is, what does that mean? When pigeons' necks are puffed out? He looks so, he looks so oddly excited compared to the rest of them. <laughs> I'm just so fascinated by this. Oh, it's back to normal. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. What does that, what? Can anybody tell me what that is? Just let me know in the comments. <laughs> hey, I did this thing where I stuffed in my clothes again. <laughs> I probably look so healing right now. Ah! So this is going to be the conclusion of this vlog that I have had filming for, I think, a week now. And I just wanted to kind of, like, say something about this random person who commented on a video of me choking saying how I can get like diseases and stuff <laughs> and this person who commented was 12 and their description on their Instagram says they're pansexual and they're 12 you're not fucking pansexual you're 12 <laughs>
You're too young to have sex, okay? <laughs> you are advertising child porn. Stop. <laughs> and this person makes videos on YouTube of dogs, like, figuring dogs talking. Like, I don't have anything against that. But you're pansexual and you're 12. If I were you, I'd really think that through. <laughs> Because my fuck, if that's not luring, like, creepy adults, I don't know what is. You shouldn't be having sex if you're 12. <laughs> no! <laughs> you haven't even hit puberty. It's not- No! Stop! You're 12. <laughs> yeah, I understand- uh, I understand that- some 12 year olds they could be mature for their age that does not mean you're old enough to have sex <laughs> god damn when i was 12 yeah i was still playing with Polly pocket and you're playing with toys still too so stop talking about sex you're not old enough <laughs> okay mommy out <laughs> like jokes aside though i'm there's a lot of like young kids online who say shit, they probably shouldn't. Though at the same time, too, I was the same child. Because my parents, they didn't really, like, monitor me to that degree on the internet. So, yeah. I said the disturbing shit, too. And I can honestly say, I'm really embarrassed. So, I'm just telling you, or Anybody who's watching this now, if you are, like, under the age of, like, 16, kind of stating stuff like that is a bit awkward. Mainly because, I mean, it's not really something that should be in the mindsets of someone that's that young. I mean, it's natural and all that shit, but... You shouldn't be saying that in a public area like that. <sighs> the past few days, I haven't really been posting very many videos because I've been like doing my spring cleaning in combination with uh, some stuff happened with our house at like windows and molding so i've been learning about like house maintenance aspects having to do with like air ventilation and windows <laughs> so it, it's been it's been kind of interesting i don't really think i want to go too far in depth though right now I could just say that you don't want to move into a place that has really shitty air circulation or holding walls. <laughs> That's probably like an obvious thing to say. So I'm going to tell you guys more of the obvious. It's complete daylight right now and my hair looks like shit. But it's okay. Because you already knew that. Which completely makes that okay. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, Not right now. Bruh. No. <laughs>